Hey guys, here with another episode of Clash of Clans, and today we are going to do a Farming 2 Max episode 11. So, first things first here, you can see our Barbarian King has just finished up his upgrade to level 34 here. So you're actually going to click him and actually upgrade him to level 35 here. You could see my Dark Elixir Storage completely maxed out at 200,000 Dark Elixir, obviously 180,000 in the storage, 20,000 in the Town Hall. And so we will upgrade him here, and the boom, there it goes. Now down to 35,000 Dark Elixir, gonna get up to about 39,000. I actually always set some witches up here, and some golems, just so that they can hold the Dark Elixir while I go raid. And we could actually also collect our clan castle, we will do that at the end of the episode though. And actually, let's get into the first raid here, which actually will be in my war log, will be in my attack log here. I'm actually gonna show you guys all four of my attack log, and just to show you what four raids back to back look like. So for this first raid here, I'm going to attack 40T, and he has over 350,000 gold and over 200,000 elixir. Only around 1,200 Dark Elixir though, but by this point in the day, actually, I believe I did this raid yesterday, I was already capped out on Dark Elixir, so it didn't really matter. And you can see here, obviously, I do want to get 3 stars on this base. The loot is definitely split between those collectors and mines and the storages, so definitely want to be able to take out every single one of those here. So going to come in from the le from the right side of this base here, I decided to come from the right, from the top right side just because the the way the mortars were placed he had about three towards the top of the base so that i could take those out very early only around only one level 31 was towards the bottom of the base and that wouldn't really have a big effect on my raid so you can see i'm coming in i decided to drop a jump spell just to get my troops into the core of the base here clan castle golem i actually requested for a giant looks like they gave me a golem here and now you can see the troops in the center of the base. I did decide to drop a rage spell just because they were taking so much damage and the and the heal spell actually. I do think this was a bit overpowered. I just saw that my brains were getting really low and I didn't want them to die because then this raid wouldn't, you know, would wouldn't result in three stars here. And now you can see Archer Queen come didn't even take a shot of damage here. 98% the archers will shoot over the wall, get that last gold mine, and we will walk away with 100% 32 trophies and over 350,000 gold, over 200,000 elixir, and 1,271 dark elixir. So for this next raid here up in my attack log, we have an attack that I actually did against Benny, and this was a dead base here that I found and it was actually worth around 280,000 of each resource and over 2,800 Dark Elixir. Obviously, being capped out on Dark Elixir, it really didn't matter the amount of Dark Elixir that I had. But obviously, wanting to maximize my profit, get all those gold mines and Elixir pumps here. So now you can see, going to take out those, those ones. Already got the collectors on the right side, now working on the left side and bottom side to get those collectors. And now the only thing left is two elixir pumps, so we can just take those out with a couple of barbarians and archers here. Do obviously want to want to get as many as those gold mines as I can, just for basically statistics and you know. I also, I was at like one hundred ninety eight thousand, so technically I wasn't fully capped yet. I don't think. So obviously, you know, a little dark elixir can't really hurt. And I will actually speed it up since there is around a minute left in the raid here. I'm going to let my troops get this town hall. Obviously, my goal, get that drill and maybe one more drill with my archer queen here. And now you can see that collector will just barely survive. And now I'm going to drop my archer queen. Obviously, wanting her to do as much damage as you can i wanted her to actually target both and get both those drills but that just didn't happen she didn't path that way and now you can see i walk away with over 270,000 gold over 280,000 elixir and 1811 dark elixir so for the next raid up here we actually have a pretty insane raid here i found drew hardy a town hall nine with nearly full storages and then half full collectors. Actually, I believe half full storages and collectors here. 
which adds up to a whopping 550,000 gold and I believe around 565,000 elixir and insane raids. So obviously I did want to do my best to get three stars on this player. So now I'm going to drop a couple of troops on the left side there to get those collectors just in case my troops didn't, you know, weren't able to pass through the entire base here. And I'm going to come from the right side of the base with my barbarians and archers. You know, drop my clan castle giants and a jump spell there just to help them get into the center of the base here. Actually going to drop another jump spell in a second. Now I'm going to drop my archer queen. Obviously want to get her down early. Want her to do as much damage as she, as she can to this base. And now, going to drop a heal spell, obviously perfectly fine using all five of my spells. When a raid with this much loot comes by, you really do need to use all your spells on a base, on a, on a Town Hall 9 like this, and you really need to get as much loot as you can. Also, another thing, you saw that it was worth over 550,000 of each. With the loot penalty, if I was a Town Hall 9 finding this base, I would actually find it for, I believe, around 700,000 resources. Just a cool fact there. And now you can see my troops funneling perfectly around this base. Now I just have my Arch Queen along with a couple archers still left. They will be more than enough to destroy the rest of these defenses and mines and storages here. And I will walk away with a 100% 559,000 gold, 566,000 elixir, and 2,171 dark elixir. So we can head back to the base here and we can actually look at our final raid here. I just found this raid a couple of minutes ago and obviously one of the less common raids I would say. I think he might have been trying to do something with his walls. I don't know if he was trying to make a picture or something there. But you can see this base tramp lore worth over 400,000 gold and over 375,000 elixir. Definitely very full on loot. I obviously want to get as much as I can. So going to come in from the left side of this base here, not wanting to really drop my entire army because there really is no need for it. Obviously, I don't really care for that 50% either, so I'm not going to drop any troops on the bottom side here to get that 50%. Because at this point, at my trophies, I really, you know, losing some, gaining some isn't going to change a single thing. But you could obviously see here, inactive bases are still a thing. People that say that loot is so hard to find, you know, so hard... It, I, it's just impossible to do any upgrade over 5 million like of each resource. It is very much possible, obviously. And, you know, some people might, might you know, say that, oh, I have a maxed out Archer Queen. It's going to make a big difference. She really doesn't make the biggest difference. This raid would have ended the exact same way. I just would have had to use a couple more Brains and Archers. And you can see you're walking away with over 400,000 gold, over 370,000 Elixir, and 1,900 Dark Elixir. Now we can head back to base here, 7.3 million gold actually, and honestly I think we were just going to do a wall, a couple of walls with this loot here, nothing really in our lab since we do still have 7 days on the minions, and then no really defenses that I want to do since I don't have any builders anytime soon, and obviously since it is the weekend I want to have a couple of builders open to do some walls. So we could actually go into our clan castle here. You can see I have 1.1 million gold and elixir from last war. So I could go over here, collect that very juicy loot. And now you can actually see I am capped out on gold. A 50,000 gold stays in that clan castle. I'm not really sure why, you know, it added up like that. But I could just go over here, upgrade three walls with our gold and elixir. So that is one wall for 4 million gold. That is another wall for 4 million gold. And the last wall with 4 million elixir, obviously still very possible to farm up our resources in this game. If you actually look at, at my wall count, I believe I'm at, yep, 142 walls. I did just pass more level, level 11s and level 10s, I believe, last week. I have a very nice there. And looking at our upgrades, we really don't have much left in our base. We have two more Teslas left, and then really it's just the archer towers and cannons and we have a fully maxed out town hall 10 and we can go to town hall 11 so i very excited for that and i hope you guys are too definitely having town hall 11 will bring some more new content to the channel 
But for today, thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for daily Clash of Clans videos. And today, I actually want to ask you guys, tell me down below in the comments how much loot you guys are finding. If you guys really think it is really bad, I would recommend coming to 1,500 or around their trophies. So you could see my four raids, but I'm also getting 4,600 Dark Elixir raids, a free 2,700 Dark Elixir, you know, stuff like this. It makes it so easy to farm up, fill out my storage this year. And then you go look at my defensive log. Obviously, people really aren't taking much. I am getting taken every now and then in the mornings before I can come on to collect my collectors since they are boosted. But still, not really a big issue. You can see here, actually, two people in a row beat my base. Very, very interesting. They're the only two people to even beat my base either. So definitely, you know, loot is still in the game. Farming is still good. And thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So peace out, and clash on.